that's the herbs ready. And I think I've gotten the symbol right. It's a good thing ketchup can act as a substitute for blood, or I'd have passed out by now. Who would have thought such a simple looking symbol would be so hard to draw? <sighs> Was there anything else I needed to do? Let me see. Step one, place the herbs along the dirt in front of the gravestone. Step two, paint the correct symbol in blood on the tombstone. Ketchup is an acceptable substitute. And finally, step three, the verbal component. Strange that I was able to just find this on Google. You'd think more people would have done this already. Although, I guess the website did look pretty shifty. Hmm, I should probably run a virus check when I get back. But right now, this is more important. Alright. <sighs> I can do this. <clears throat> oh, powers of shadow that move unseen and unexposed by the light. Return unto me what has been taken, and allow me to break the bonds of the chains of death. Heed my call, and return my companion to me. Nothing? <sighs> Makes sense. Of course it wouldn't be that simple. Back to the drawing board, I guess. What was that? Wait, is... Is that a hand? Uh, hang on, let me help you. Wait, what? No, that can't be right. You don't look like... Hmm? Where are you? This is a graveyard. Well, normally people are brought here because they're, you know, dead? Just move aside a little bit. I need to check something. Of course. I'm such an idiot. I always get the difficult parts right and then slip up with something so simple. What? Oh, it's nothing. It's just... You weren't who I was expecting tonight. You? Well, like I said, normally people are buried here because they're dead. And it looks like you were in there for... a while. See? Look here. You were in there for... two years. Hey, hey, it's okay. Please don't panic. You're gonna get us both caught. Well, technically I'm not supposed to be here. Here, sit down next to me. It's probably a lot to take in. Uh, what was the last thing you remember? I see. I guess you must have passed in your sleep. No wonder you're so confused. Listen, it's gonna be okay. You're here now. I've got you. It's only been two years, right? People have disappeared for longer than that and lived perfectly normal lives after. They'll just have a little catching up to do, especially with the internet. The people who knew you, it looks like they really loved you, you know? I've seen quite a few gravestones recently, and yours was honestly one of the nicer ones. Just a shame I had to paint ketchup all over it. Hmm? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. But think about it. That means they'll be really happy to see you, right? Yeah, exactly. Me? Well, it's an interesting story. Although I suppose after being literally brought back to life, you'll probably believe anything. 
Well, the truth is, I'm a necromancer. Or trying to be one, anyway. And I'm getting close. I mean, you're walking proof of that. I just need to fine-tune things a little and it'll be perfect. Why? I have someone specific that I need back. No, not a person. It's Otto, my, my pet mouse. I know that sounds a little crazy, but I've always found people difficult, but Otto, he was always there for me. But obviously, you know, mice don't really last. I need him back, and I'm getting close. After just a couple more attempts, I should be able to get this perfect. I have the materials and general technique down. I just need to work on the more minute details. How did I mistake a human grave for a mouse one? Well, I... It was dark, okay? Um, I'm, I'm sorry for dragging you into this, but... At least you're alive again, right? Actually, while you're here, there's a few things I need to check. No, it's okay. Sit back down. I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to see what effects being resurrected has had on you. Hmm. Your higher cognitive function doesn't seem to be impaired at all. That's definitely better than the last few. Well... Let's just say, some of the other spells I found were designed less for necromancers looking for a companion and more an undead army. It's okay, I have everything under control. I have them looking after my house like undead butlers. As soon as I can find a way to return them to normal, I will. But for now, it keeps them and everybody else safe. Hmm. Your eyes look normal, not milky or black. Great, you're a little pale, but I'm sure I can fix that, probably. And lastly, Harpy. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, your heartbeat is slower than you'd expect. That's interesting. Why? Well, animals with faster heartbeats have shorter lifespans. It's possible that this side effect could extend lifespan post-resurrection. That's exactly what I need. I'll have to look into it further. I really am making progress. Will you need to eat people's brains? What? No. Of course not. Or... At least the spell didn't mention anything like that. Although, it might be best we keep you away from any populated areas for a while. Just to make sure. Well, you'll be needing a place to stay, right? You could always come over to my place. It's quiet and not too far out of town. Besides, I am kind of directly responsible for you being here, so it's only fair I take responsibility. You could stay the night, and in the morning we could try to find people that know you. Great! This will be just like one of those sleepovers I've heard of friends doing. Well, I guess I could call you my friend. <laughs> Fancy that. My first friend. Well, first human friend. We can stay up late, watch movies. Ooh, what's your opinion on D&D?